Right now, uh, we're talking grown locally in Spartanburg. There is a spacious studio where you are invited to sit down, relax, and create a one-of-a-kind art piece. Mara Israel is here from Hearts of Clay Paint Your Own Pottery Studio. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> as a Paint Your Own Pottery Studio, people can also make other clay creations. They can get into canvas painting, glass fusion. Um, talk about the environment there overall and just how you operate. Um, so basically, we do mainly walk-ins. Um, mm -hmm. So you can come into the studio, you can pick out a piece, you can paint it in the studio, or you can take it home with you with paints and brushes and bring it back for us to fire it. Okay. Um, we do have some scheduled classes and events, um, but mainly it's a walk-in environment. Well, you brought for us uh, just what we need for a little painting demo. This yes, paintbrush is there. Let's let's get started. Tell me uh, what what we should do to start. And yeah. What the so goal is. Um, with these tools, these are our dotting tools. Okay. Um, so you pretty much just dip it in the paint color that you want and just dot it on your piece. Um, and I'm it's trying to simple. recreate something like that. Yes, ma'am. Should I do the centers first? Um, possibly. I'm going to start with the green for the centers. And there are pointier ones for things. Yes. That you want more so there's different sizes and. Um, there's a more pointy one and a more round one. This is neat. So somebody's sitting in the class at your studio and they've got the general idea what they're doing, but yes. they're talking, they're carrying on, they're uh, bonding with friends and yes, family. Who comes to these classes? Um, so it's mainly um, children and adults. It's all different ages. We have some uh, more geared towards children, like our summer camps um, aren't for children, but then we have um, like we have bingo paint nights. Um, those we have all different ages come, um, but we try to do it for pretty much everyone. Yeah. What, uh, what do you hope somebody takes from their experience? You know, people are sometimes intimidated by art and they think, well, I'm not very crafty. You know, yes. maybe, uh, you know, this isn't for me. But what yeah. happens when they when they get into an um, environment like I'm, that? I'm the same way. I'm not really? very artistic, but um, we have different techniques that are very simple to do. Um, you come in, we can help you out with different techniques. So even if you don't have a whole lot of experience, um, you can always come in and do something very simple and walk out with, a masterpiece. A masterpiece um, and, and good memories too. Yes, and people are always surprised when they come up, come in to pick up their pieces. Um, different, they're different looks and people, they look completely different after we fire them in the kiln. And okay. people are always very surprised and shocked when they come in. That's what I was going to ask. So step one, I've done a little bit of something that kind of resembles that, yeah. but uh, you bake it and it's going to, it's going to have that glass. Yes. We, we paint the clear coat on after it. Um, so we actually dip it in the clear oh, glaze. Wow. Okay. Um, so we do that once you leave the pieces with us. We dip it in the clear glaze and we fire it in the kiln and it comes out nice and shiny and bright like that. I'm making a yellow tail for mine <laughs> because of the smudge. I think that's, a, that's an authentic touch that not anybody else is going to have. Um, you also offer classes in pottery painting, pottery wheel, clay, and canvas painting. Um, who's liking each of these products? Who comes in or um, projects? So, like I said earlier, it's all different ages from children to adults. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing that we really put a age limit on is our pottery wheel classes. We do that for ages 12 and up just because you do have to have upper body strength to do yeah. that. Um, but pretty much everything else is all all ages. Well, that must be the fun thing to see that there's there's kids, there's grandparents, they're sitting mm -hmm. side by side and they've got a project yes. and all of a sudden they've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Hearts of Play is family owned and operated. Your aunt and uncle have owned it for 13 years. And I'm told you've been around that studio forever. Yes. <laughs> uh, what's it like growing, around, growing up around that studio um, environment? It was always a lot of fun. You know, we'd go after school on the weekends. I was pretty much always there. I started working there in high school, um, but it's like a second home to me. I'm always there either working or painting something for myself, so. Yeah, <laughs> well, and there's some therapy to it. Everybody says yes. there's a creative outlet. How do you feel, you know, do you ever walk in there with the stresses of the day and then what happens? Um, so it's very relaxing. It's a very relaxing environment. They are, you know, children are always in there. There's music yeah. playing. It's very soothing and relaxing. Very good. Well, you make it easy and fun. <laughs> and taking a look at our project so far, this is the kind of thing somebody could accomplish you know, even better yes. if they paid attention to detail. <laughs> um, anything else you want to know about Hearts of Clay and before at, and what makes it special before we head out? Um, it's just a very fun environment. You know, you can come in with zero to none experience and we can help you create something very interesting and fun. Well, I'm, I'm pleased with what we've done so far. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing all this stuff in. Thank Hearts you of Clay me. is located in Westgate Crossing behind Westgate Mall at 660 Spartan Boulevard. Open Tuesday through Sunday and you will open early for groups by appointments. We're going to link your access, your website to ours on accesscarolina.com. Thank you. Thank you.